Good evening, and welcome to another well-lubricated episode of Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. Now here's your loquacious and lugubrious host, Voice of Doom. Good evening, everybody. And I'm going to have something a little different today. During my diatribe, since I don't need to follow any rules from the FCC, I will have a little sake kekeken from Japan. So, love a warm toddy during the Christmas season. Cockles the heart, warms the cockles, you know, however you want to put it. So I wasn't really planning on doing a diatribe today because, you know, the week's been dull. It's, you know, a few leading days up to the holidays. And usually things tend to slow down, you know. You see substitute people on the news and you see substitute people in the government and, um, Xi Jinping had a had a uh, guest host for whatever he was doing because of the holidays. So I wasn't going to do a diatribe, and then I remembered that yesterday the little redhead girl mentioned that Petri Dish was going to actually say a few words. I mean, as best that he can put them together. And I will say he's holding up well for being absolutely demented. You know, he fakes it well. But I thought, well, I had forgotten about it this morning and I was lolling about. And I go, oh, wait a minute. Petri dish is going to talk. So me and my kid, who never lack for searching for another good time, decided that we play a little game called... Take a shot when you hear the word. So he said, okay, we'll watch his little speech. And every time he says the word vaccine, vaccination, or vaccinated, you have to take a shot. And if he t says the phrase shots in arms, then you have to take two shots. Well, I guess we made it through about 10 minutes of his little speech and we were on our face on the floor. So I didn't catch the rest of it live. Had to go back later after I came to because it was a little more offbeat than I even expected. And one thing I like about Petri Dish is that he doesn't get into sentimental Christmas time. Let's have a, you know, a fireside chat a la FDR, who he might remember. He probably was one of his aides, but he doesn't do a fire sorry chat. He does not get together or, well, have whatever that is he's married to with him in, in his cardigan sweater with probably a dog or two. I don't know if he has a dog. I'm still starting to come to, but I just don't see him doing a fireside chat because he's just not that kind of guy who's going to give it, uh, what, who used to be American, so-called hope, because that's not his style. His style is, you better be afraid, be very, very afraid. And he was terrifying as usual between just being amused by his sheer lack of Glibness, his lack of being able to have syntax and things that most presidential candidates and presidential aspirants should have in order to communicate properly, because communication is 50% of it being president. And I'm kind of hung over from that game. So I don't know why I'm drinking sake, you better hear the dog. But. Not much to report on what Petri just said, except that it's even more terrifying and stupid than usual and more confusing because he said, 
and I'm so happy. I mean, Petri dish is a godsend because he told us we could celebrate Christmas if we were all vaccinated. So I breathed a sigh of relief that he gave his, his permission from on high. King Wenceslas, you could call him. You know, he's the spirit of Christmas. He said we could actually celebrate Christmas with our families if we were vaccinated. Now, if we're not vaccinated, I guess we cannot. So I suggest everybody go get their vaccinations right now, as Petri just said, right now. I mean, it's the middle of the night, but I'm sure there's places open that will give you a free vaccination because they're free and they're everywhere. So <clears throat> there's a few phrases that kind of scared me and not for any particular reason, like it was an overt thread. It just sounded like a Star Trek episode or it sounded like something from a B-movie or something cult classic. You know, when he said, join us, it kind of scared me a bit. To all you unvaccinated, if you've been waiting for proof that it's safe. Well, we've vaccinated millions and millions of children. So you can now, you know, go and feel free to give your child a vaccination. And if you haven't been vaccinated, join us. Join us, the sane people, the reasonable people, the true Americans, the Americans who do our patriotic duty by getting a vaccination because Omicron is sweeping through and it's very much less lethal and less harmful than the last two variants that were variants of interest. So that's why it's very imperative that everybody get vaccinated right away. And I think it's too late if you get the two, it's too late, you can't do it and still go to your Christmas parties. So that's over, you gotta look toward next year or maybe an Easter party, St. Patty's Day. So you gotta time it out correctly. And even if you're vaccinated, then you really should be getting boosted and you haven't gotten boosted, you may not be able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So everything's gotta be timed out now. You gotta have it on your calendar. Now's this shot. Now, does he want me to get another shot? I don't know. What's he said lately? How many boosters do I need? Because there's no such thing as immunity-dependent enhancement of disease. That is a fairy tale. Don't think about such things. And always think that the true way to combat and to get herd immunity so that everybody has had the virus or everybody is immune to the virus is to get the vaccine. Therapeutics are a conspiracy theory. Anybody who talks about therapeutics is a quack. Don't listen to them. So, I was getting a lot from Petri Dish today, and I looked at the YouTube thing, and it said 58 minutes. I was like, wow, he's going to talk for 58 minutes? Well, that was the repeat. And he actually stopped talking, and no one clapped. And... Then people started shooting questions at him as he was turning away. And I guess he thought, maybe this time I better not just walk away because I just told people, basically, that a lot of people are going to die by January 8th, that it's going to spread like crazy in this Omicron that has been proven to be less um, harmful. Um, not as many um, morbid symptoms as the other two, but it's going to come through and it's going to get everybody, everybody's going to get it, and a lot of people are going to die January 8th. So, it's always nice to hear from a so-called president. Um, it made me feel better because I decided I wasn't going to mail off my mortgage payment after all, because I figure out either I'm going to be dead or a lot of other people are going to be dead. I don't know who but there's going to be a lot of people dying on January 8th. And it may cause a disruption in our economic system if 40 or 50 million people die in a couple weeks. It may cause some dis 
just consternation, just consternation. And we'll be busy burying bodies. So I figured I'd put off paying my mortgage for a few weeks and just see what happens. So I'm glad. I wish Petri Dish would, you know, be more clear about how many people are going to die and when so I can plan out my, you know, how I'm going to have my estate um, dispersed. Because I got like half a cookie over here and some hats, some paperback books that I want to see go to the right place. And if not, I might donate it to a dog shelter. Um, but I didn't plan anything. I sobered up and watched it again. And it's the same thing. It's... He's confusing, and he's confused, and he's confusing everybody else. Nobody really knows anything, and even people, you know, you talk to people around town. I live in a rather red area, so we're, you know, we go along with the the little edicts just if we have to, and sometimes we just do it anyway. You just get used to it. I walk into a liquor store on, like this, and then I'm like, well... Um, how are you on mask? And she's like, ah, whatever. So I'm like, okay. So we talked about masks and how it's kind of fun to wear them sometimes when you're working because then you don't have to smile at people and you can kind of sneer at them or maybe stick your tongue out at them or, or do some mouth, some words at them without them noticing. So it's fun. The masks aren't that bad. But when to wear them, when not to wear them, we... Where I'm walking into the restaurant, we take them off to eat. We put them back on when we walk out of the restaurant. And everybody knows this absurd. But I agree with masks. I think that everyone should wear them. I think children should wear them starting at an early age. Because it'll really help them with eye contact. Because you'll have to look at people's eyes in order to understand what they're saying. So it's going to be a different way of communicating. That'll be interesting to see in 20 years. People may not be talking. They may be just looking at each other and raising their eyebrows like this. So that'll be an interesting way to communicate. Um, he's an idiot. He's satanic. It would be very ironic if he were to succumb to the very thing that he's warning us about. But I don't wish that upon him because... The longer he stays on this mortal coil, the longer he suffers because he has to put up with his own existence. So, it's not going to be the longest one in the world, and I said nothing. I just did a little diatribe on Petri Dish's latest um, idiocy. And I think he started yelling, which is always fun to watch. Um... We need a good yelling. We need to be admonished badly. And we have a father figure, our father who art in the White House, to tell us what to do and to insist that if we are going to live to see the end of 22, we better get vaccinated and boosted. And I'm glad I'm not taking shots every time I say vaccinated because I'd be drunk again. But I will bid you arigato. And maybe tomorrow we'll have a real disaster and then we can talk about that. So goodbye and uh, good night.